Meanwhile, the Zampara State House of Assembly has confirmed Senator Mohamed Hassan Nahiba as the new deputy governor of the state. His confirmation followed a screening by the lawmakers on Wednesday. The Speaker of the House, Nasiru Muazu, had at the resumed plenary read a letter from Governor Belo Matawali, nominating Senator Mohammed as his deputy. Hassan was nominated hours after Mahdi Gusau's impeachment on Wednesday. Senator Hassan is representing Zamfara Central Senatorial District. Gusau was impeached after the House received the letter of a, a committee set up by the state's Chief Judge, Justice Kulu Aliyu. The committee was set up to probe allegations leveled against him. The seven-man panel was led by retired Justice Halidu Soba and has submitted its report to the State House of Assembly complex in Gusau, the state capital. We are now being joined by the PDP chairman Zampara State, Colonel Bala Mende, retired. Good evening, Colonel. Good evening. Well, just to let you know, he is a former military administrator in Nasarawa State and a former Minister of Environment in the Cabinet of President, former President Olusegun Obasanjo. You're welcome on the news tonight, sir. Thank you. All right, so gross misconduct, abuse of office. Tell us how that played out against your man. Well, all these um, allegations against uh, Barista Mahadi Ali Gusau, who is the deputy governor of the Ankara State, was based on nothing that on his principle to remain in PDP after his, his principal had moved the APC. Nothing more, nothing less. And you have to know that our constitution has given the right to individuals, the freedom of association, and the freedom of political opinion. Um, Bello Matawale came from AMPP and joined us. And he pleaded with us to give him an opportunity to be the governor. He promised we shall work together. So we gave him that opportunity. Only after becoming the governor, on the platform of CDP, and we saw him romancing with the APC members at the expense of the CDP members. So right from his second week in office, we had the analysis that this man might move out of our party, CDP, to the opposition party in the state, APC. He was making doctrinal meetings and all sorts of calculations and um, getting in touch with APC governors, ministers, lobbying them to accept him to cross over. We knew all this. So we were not surprised that he crossed over to APC. But we chose to remain in our party. And that was the, um, the, um, the, 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 the offense of the deputy governor. It is unfortunate. Much of politics. Seeing, uh, yeah, much of politics is a game. Would I be correct in saying that the APC has succeeded in crushing the PDP in Zamfara State? Uh, far from it. That is their imagination. They thought when they removed the deputy governor, the party is dead. The party is not dead. PDP is alive, is speaking. As a matter of fact, with this desperate movement of impeaching the deputy governor, we have gotten more comfort from APC in the state. They are crossing to our side because they, they can't imagine this desperate for injustice. And, and uh, impeachment has a process. At 
split the committee set up by the judge of the state has 90 days to complete its assignment, but they finish within two days. The job that is for 90 days is completed within two days. How thorough is that job? Well, the reports uh, that yeah. some reports I've seen uh, have uh, indicated that that committee was not given any time limit. Um, however, the question here is, are you satisfied with the process? And if not, what next? What is it right now for your party and the deputy governor that has just been impeached? We are not satisfied because we know this is an abuse of judicial and the process. This case is before a high court and it has not been determined. And the justice said all parties to maintain status quo ante bello. It, 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 it means that the House of Assembly in Zamfara State, the Chief Justice of Zamfara State, and the government of Zamfara State have no respect for the court of law. So technically, do we take it that he's still the deputy governor? Come again. Do we take it that technically he remains the deputy governor in spite of what has just happened oh, in the God, state? By law, he remains the deputy governor. So what is the PDP going to do to ensure that his mandate is not stolen from him? They go to court to continue the process? We are already in court. We have been in court on this issue. And we are going back on the 10th of March. Well, listen, sir. Hello. Hello. Okay, I said we're listening. You're going back yeah, on the 10th of March. We're going back on the 10th of March for the case to continue. So right now, as it stands, there's a stay. Hello. 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 Yeah. So until you get to court in March. Um, one cannot say that he has been impeached successfully by the APC. Well, they think he has been impeached. But we believe the case that is before a court, they have no right to um, take any action on that case. Even though the magistrate has said the case is before him, he expects all parties to maintain status quo and to All right. Uh, I must say that the politics or the level of political intolerance that we've seen play out in Zampara since 2019 um, has been epic, if I could use that word. And you, you used to be the chief of staff of Governor Matawale. Um, how do you respond to this? All that's been playing out in Zampara State since 2019. Um, the demolition of secretariats and all of that. How do you respond to all of that? How do you respond to my question, please? You see, you see, um, we have a crisis. We have security crisis in Zamfara State. What we expect a responsible government to do is to invite all to put hands on deck to resolve this issue. Our people are being killed every day. They are being kidnapped every day. Our young women are taken from the villages and taken to the bush and molested. Our young uh, boys are taken to the bush. They are also molested. Our people have been pauperized. Their livestock have been taken away. That's their means of livelihood. The, you know, they can't move from one village to another. Markets are closed. School children can't go to school. All schools are closed. What do we do as a people? Is to put hands together to say, look, they put all politics aside. If anybody has advice how we can solve these security challenges, please come, bring out your advice. It's our state. We have to work together. But unfortunately, rather than the government doing this, 
they are busy thinking of how to remove an innocent deputy governor. Now that you have removed the deputy governor, you say you have removed it, will that bring a change to the state? Will that enhance our security? Will that enhance our economy? Will that give us peace? Well, these are questions. Instead of like doing the right, we are going the other way, the wrong way. Well, there has been much the kind of politics we find in the country, and uh, you are a politician, and most Nigerians have no confidence in politicians. Would you blame them? And, and then 2023 general elections is around the corner. There's this voter apathy because of the way politicians have conducted themselves. What would you say to a Nigerian listening to you as we prepare for the next elections? Look. There are good persons in Nigeria. In every state, there are good persons. It doesn't mean all politicians are untrustworthy. There are trustworthy politicians, honest politicians, who have good intention for their state and for their country. We should fish them out and give them our trust. But those who are in control now, if they are not concerned about the welfare of the people, the security of the people, all they do is to steal money. And the people should kick them out and bring responsible politicians to replace them. Colonel Balamande retired. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Melanie. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.